Don't, don't talk bad about me because you don't like my face. Okay. But speak the truth, you know, just say it the way it is, the way you say it. We're here to play, we're not here to mess around. We have 150 million Nigerians waiting for this game tomorrow. So it's not the game to mess up. We don't have to put blame on anybody. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. It's draw. Um, that's the way I see it. I'm not sure any player in this bus or in this coach here will not give on a 10% tomorrow. Otherwise, it goes home. Listen, my name, Keshi, is not my name. Stephen is my name. And if somebody else is... Your dad's name. Exactly. It's my family name. Mm. And it's, if you start rubbishing Keshi's name in front of newspapers all over the world, I'll get angry with you. I need Nigerians to be patient with me because there are some other voices that I'm seeing out there that I probably want to give opportunity to, to you know, showcase at their game. Rest in peace, Coach Stephen Cash. You always remain in our hearts. Hello and welcome. This is Sports Day this morning. We're actually live from Charles TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okunakman. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Tyus Salam. Okay, you know the story. Coach Stephen Cash is dead. He died at the age of 54 after winning the African Cup of Nations as a player and, of course, as a coach. There's been so much love. For Keshi going on the presidency uh, mm. right here in Nigeria, the Confederation of African Football, Chelsea Football Club mm. of England, uh, the BBC, yeah. uh, talk about even BET Africa, yeah. players, current, ex internationals, everyone showing so much love for mm. Coach Stephen Keshi who continue to give tribute to the late coach. Yeah, it's only right, Austin. I mean, uh, like I said, people from all walks of life, mm. you know, yes, commentators, you know. And musicians mm. all paying tributes uh, to the late great Stephen Keshi. Also on the show, um, LeBron James, also known as King James, reigned supreme on his home court, scoring 32 points to let the Cavaliers pass the Golden State Warriors 120-90 in Game 3 of the NBA Finals. The Cavs have now won eight straight games at home and lost none in this year's postseason. Mm. I told you. James is caught. I told you. you I mean, I, like, you, look, <laughs> he needed. Okay, let me let you. He needed yeah, to stand is. tall. I'll yeah. tell you, he did. I said they were condemned to win. They should win, and they must win. And yes. they did convincingly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a, like that was a demolition job. Mm. One twenty ninety. That's wow. a thirty points. Mm. You know, that's difference. anger. Yeah. Revenge. <laughs> clap back. Yeah, I mean, that's how you <laughs> clap back. And yeah, yeah, for real. Uh, LeBron James, I said it yesterday, I mean, mm. he had to bring something really special. That's right. And that's what he did. He set a tone for this win, you know, with mm. very, you know, smart and physical play early in the game. And, um, and the other guys, yeah, the subjects, if you want to call them that, the role players, <laughs> you know, they stepped up yeah. and they really contributed yeah. Yeah, to the victory. I'm talking of the likes of Gerald Smith, Tristan Thompson. Yeah. You know, they all played really well and that's why they won the game. That's why they won it. And, and big ups to the Cavs again because they did it without their forward, Kevin Love. Kevin Love was Look out. At that. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Mm. I mean, uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, pundits' thoughts and the absence of uh, Kevin Love might actually affect them. That's right. Then I imagine in going into that game where they knew they were condemned, you know, to win. They didn't care. You know, all the other guys that played really, you know, they stepped up onto the plate. I mentioned Gerald Smith earlier. He had a, he had a stinker, you know, in, in the last game. Yeah. But he came back strong mm. and, um, you know, he did his thing. He had 20 points uh, in the game three. But LeBron James surely is the man. Confirmation of the results. Wow. 120, 90 in favor of the Cavs. But they still trail the series 1-2. Yeah. But the good thing is they play game four, still at home at the Quicken Loans Arena. And they have an opportunity you know, to equal um, the series in that one. LeBron James, like I said earlier, you know, man of the moment, 40 minutes he played, 32 points, 11 rebounds, 
and six assists. Wow. Amen. Wow, stand up for the king. Yeah. Stand up the for king the king. James. And after the game, king he James. said uh, that we finally got back to our game. Very important. I want to the series uh, stands now. Mm. Um, second game, again, is at home. The Cavs need to actually show that they're here to compete. I mean, they have to. I mean, we, I said earlier, they haven't lost at all in this year's postseason. Mm. You know, it means they've been very dominant at home. So they have to take advantage of it, you know, level the series yeah. um, before it goes back to Oakland uh, because. I know when it goes back to Oakland, mm -hmm. it might be a bit uh, tough for them. And I, I spoke about the subject earlier as well. So Kyrie Ivan, you know, finally, you know, he showed up. Everybody, yeah. everybody uh, needed to turn up. And they, exactly. they heard the music and they started dancing. Mm. I love the Golden State Warriors, yeah, but of course they do. I feel we better are, when yeah. they are beating. I mean, yeah, yeah. I li no, that's just the nature of sports. When, yeah. you're, when we're watching sports, we want it to be competitive. We don't mm. want to watch a one-sided That's affair. right. That's, uh, you know, it's not really exciting. Yeah. So it's good the Cavs have won game three now. And they, they, they have an opportunity going into um, game four, you know, to level the series. Uh, Kyrie Ivan, like I said, you know, showed up. He had 30 points in that game. Tristan Thompson, you know, the, the center, he had a great game as well to um, scoring. Uh, he, I think he had about 14 points. Mm. Yeah, thereabouts. So 14 points and 13 rebounds. That's a double-double for uh, Tristan Thompson. But let's go to the... Um, the Golden State Warriors. That's right. I don't know what's going on with uh -huh. Steph Curry. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on with Clay Thompson yeah. because for the third straight game, they didn't come to the party. They were very underwhelming. Mm. Uh, Clay, Clay Thompson is struggling badly. I don't know what's going on. He had 10 points, you know, and he just attempted 13 shots. Four, that. Making four out of 13 I shots. Think I know what it's not it good is. enough. When Curry is not shooting, Thompson is not willing to shoot. And then they're uh, waiting. Draymond Green, maybe you need to, uh, you know, put us... Then he doesn't into, step up as well. Set up there. Everybody yeah. just goes to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think they underestimated uh, the Cavs a bit. And after <laughs> winning convincingly mm, you know, by combining their uh, 48 points in the first two games, they underestimated them. Um, and they were brought back uh, down to earth. And um, I believe on um, game four, uh, they will come out a lot, you know, with a lot more intensity mm. because uh, this game was very flat uh, from uh, the Golden State Warriors. Yeah, very, very. Because, uh, uh, I mean, come some sort of complacency would have stepped in. Surely. Uh, come yeah. on, we won the first two games. Two games easily. Very easy, you yeah. know, and these guys are not showing us the sort of moment. So remember, I told you I didn't like the body language of King James mm, after did. doing the presser uh, when they lost. Yeah. And maybe that's just mind games. They're saying, okay, come to our, come right there to our court and yeah. we'll show you. And it took, it took over it. <laughs> it did. <laughs> That's the so, story. Yeah, series on. Mm. Series on. We're we waiting. don't want to sweep, like, come no, on, come in on. the NBA Finals. No, we don't on. want that. If you can take it to seven, yeah. do it. Let's walk with you all the way. That's the NBA Finals for 2016. One, two, it stands now. But uh, what a good way to respond from the Cavs. We're just hoping that at the second game, they will also do the same and then tie the series 2-2. Two, two, and then we'll come back to talk about it. Okay. Let's talk about the man, Coach Stephen Keshi. He was born in 1962. Uh, started playing for the senior men's national team in 1981. Had a very good, admirable football career. Played very good football, uh, club football in Belgium. And then started leading the Super Eagles of Nigeria in 2011. Went on to win the African Cup of Nations as a coach in 2013. Did it with style. Arguably, Coach Stephen Keshi arguably is the best captain this country has ever had when talking about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And then it didn't look so well for him in 2014. Returned as coach in 2015. Tyler, that second coming, that yeah. one oh, had so much drama tied to it. Yeah. Before, coach Stephen Keshi, I like his confidence as a person. It always worked for him. Remember when we hear hearing talks that um, after, during the, the 2013 AFCON, the NFL went on to get, was they were talking to another coach, yeah. and then he said, oh, okay, <laughs> so I know what I'll do to you guys. <laughs> then the moment he won, he said, I'll yeah. resign. And then everybody was like, how can you resign after winning? Yeah. Oh, I, we love the I drama. I actually thought then he should have stuck with his um, decision. Mm. I thought so. I mean, there's no better way than to go out, you know, on an eye after winning Af yeah. Afcon for Nigeria after uh, almost two decades. I think he should have stuck with that decision. About, Love, love, Kyle, love, all of all everywhere. over. Everywhere, I mean, everyone talking. William Trust Echo, yes. he should show some love. Chris, yeah. uh, Coach Timmy Keshi brought him to the team. Yeah. Very sad waking up to the news of the big boss that Tommy Smith. Tommy Smith, they are watching. Yeah. Wow, yeah. ESPN. 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 Sad, yeah. sad news from Nigeria. Stephen Keshi has passed away at 54 years. Mm. And he says, um, 
Rest in peace. All right, Rest in peace, the big boss. Yeah, and this is from Chelsea. Like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, all at Chelsea, sudden to hear of former Nigerian coach Stephen Kesh is dead. He worked with Mikel and Victor Moses. Wow. I mean, it's, it's just, the, wow. the love has been widespread. Alexi Wobi. Alex Wobi. He yeah. just couldn't I mean, type it's, it's much. a young star. Yeah. I'm sure, I never saw Kesh play. Rest in peace. But he knows the impact and his influence in Nigerian football. Joseph Yobo, the mm. captain mm. of the 20. 13, you know, Nations Cup winning mm. side. Two shock for words. Stephen Cash is gone. RIP. RIP Big Boss. Sunday Lee says, well, wow. Austin. Horrible news. A sad day as our legendary captain and brother, Stephen Cash dies. May his blessed soul rest in peace. We lost an iconic hero today. Mm. Wow. Mm. Sonny Aluko as well. I oh mean, I God. said Sonny Aluko. Yeah. His last game for Nigeria was yeah. on the cash against South Africa. He's got two goals. So shocked and saddened to hear about the passing of the Big Boss. Mm. Wow. Okay.